Johannes, and this is Irma, and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And welcome back to Keep or Cull, where we play our whole collection of 600 plus games and decide whether to keep or cull them. That is true, and all the games that we choose to cull are given away to you, the viewers. If there are any games that you are interested in, go and check up the form in the description, yes. and we will pick winners uh, two weeks apart, basically. So, another week is done, another shorter week, because things are going pretty full motion with the musical stuff and, and, and things happening in real life, not yes. just board games. So, just like a information in the beginning here, next week there's not going to be a Keep or Curl episode, just because I'm going to be away for five of the days of the week, mm. so that doesn't make any sense. So we'd rather just then spend a little time we have playing some review games and getting a bit more azure with that. Yeah, it makes it kind of super sad to not have a Keep or Curl video, because this has come like a part of our weekly mm -hmm. routine, so it's going to be so super weird not having a Cooper Call video but next next week like the week after we'll be back we'll be playing games again so yes. uh, let's go into the stats uh, first there are no winners because two weeks ago we only played three games and oh, we, we kept, kept them all, all of them so uh, the stats Gotta for this all. week is we played eight hours of games so like in the middle because we played 13 hours last week and five hours a week before but we have also played like almost 10 hours of sleeping god so yes. that is that is also a review that's coming and we wanted to play a full campaign of that before doing a review yes. we played five games last week was 12 and the week before that was three and we are if my calculations are correctly we are now at the 199 games so almost to like the one third there. so so as we had said we're probably not going to make it this year because yeah. life is going happen and new games are coming but we are still having fun and so as long fun. as it's fun we're gonna keep this going the most important thing then of course is how much did Sunua win what do you think hmm of these five games, games five games I think I won three of them you did you won three I won two nice so with that out of the way let's get on to the games let's get down to business let's get down to business <laughs> to keep our call I look at boom I look Yay. at it's the first game are you ready yeah one two three boom talk about it no you are because you are oh you yeah are the yeah color. That yes is the i'm the color um I'm the color what You're i love the again. most about i love cats is that i love cats no i love that word play but still um we played it and i, I had a lot of fun mm -hmm. this is a pretty like simple um tetramino building but also drafting game mm -hmm. and when i say simple it's still a lot of game but yeah. we played it with uh, some friends that haven't played a lot mm -hmm. and they grasped it kind of quickly and mm -hmm. had a ton of fun yes uh, so i think this is a great game but not one of my favorites and i i wouldn't miss it mm -hmm. so what is your take on it it's it's a fine game. No, it's a fun game. I didn't mean fine. I mean fun. It's a fun game. It's a fun game. It is also a fun game. It's it a is. very fun game. I think it's a, a neat design. I think it has kind of that. I think the drafting is interesting. It it can mm. be a bit random. Like if you, you end up getting loads of lesson cards or you don't. So you have more possibilities to score at the end of the game. Uh, I think that might be like a bit, bit random. But you go through so many cards throughout the game that it... it probably not going to hmm. be a problem i also like the fact that they made the draft quicker so that you draft yes. two cards here so really because the drafting that. isn't like the biggest part of the game yeah, I, agree. I i think for now i want to keep it because okay. I, I i think it's a a very good game i think it's a a great like introduction to these kind of things it's not a, a gateway game it's like a next step game i think it's really really neat so yes. for now i want to keep it we'll see you next time around but for now i want to keep uh, isle of cats okay next up we have Libertalia. Okay, you ready? Yes. One, two, three, boom. Yeah, now you have to talk about it. You're yeah. the color. I think it's a fun game. I think it's... Um, it's basically just a lot of random stuff happening. We had loads of fun when we played it, but you cannot sit down. I know there are strategies. I know there are things to think about. That's not what I'm saying, but it's one of those games that you have to sit down and have to know this is just going to be total mayhem. This is just going to be something happening and you might not have any saying if you win or lose you have some saying but there will be like there were plus things happening in this game which the player had nothing they could do mm. with so you 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 just had to get into that and i think that's fine but if i want to play like a wacky random game like this not saying they're similar but i'd rather play for example cosmic encounter mm. which is also that 
you have to just see what's happening and oh that's a fun and that's a fun and, and that's kind of the game this is and I think it's a good game but I don't need to own it. This is not my genre at all no. actually and I don't know why I just love this game. Mm -hmm. I just have I've fallen completely in love with it and mm -hmm. um, you're playing cards and you all have like the same cards in hand you, you it goes in three rounds so mm -hmm. you have like the same like, sets of cards and you play one of them and depending on the rank of the card you get treasure and also you do special abilities mm -hmm. and it's it's total chaos mm -hmm. but you have to try to control that chaos so i can do like a super cool move mm -hmm. but then you kill my card and i can't do it yeah. or you do something that like throws it back in my face mm -hmm. and and having some negative things can like all of a sudden be positive mm -hmm. and i just there is so much uh, that I shouldn't like in this mm -hmm. game, but I really love it and I think it fits very well with the pirate theme of oh, yeah, this game absolutely. as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, we don't have many pirate games, but this, this uh, certainly feels like one, you know? Um, but I, I, I really want to keep this one. Yeah, of course. I would, I would actually miss it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah of course. You, you decide, that's, that's how it works. So next up we then have... Nippon! Yes. You ready? Yep. One, two, three, boom! Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes! <laughs> yeah, but I was just like, no! <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, it's a great game. It's a what's your game game. This is one of those... It's it's like, it's a bit more than, kind of a bit more than medium, but it's it's one of those games that just has a super smooth flowing uh, sequence to it. To just pick up a dude and do the action. Not saying it's simple, because you have to think about stuff and oh, you have yeah. to be like, Oh, I just going to, oh, that order, Happy and then moments. if I want to do that color, because they're colored meeples and you don't want to take too many colors, because then you have to pay, mm -hmm. and you don't have any money for next round, and... But it's a very nice like optimization game and it has that some really cool elements I've been talking about before. It has that building your own scoring at the end, which is something I love in games. Building my own scoring is something I adore. And uh, now they can see us. Uh, <laughs> so that is nice. I really, really like that. Um, and I really enjoy the, the there's some, some simpler and majority that is cool. And there's just so many good things in this game and I love it. It's Nippa. Oh yeah, this is a forever green game, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing that I would like maybe put a question mark to is if we played this a lot. I would maybe wish for an expansion or something mm -hmm. because it can be like do trying kind of doing the same strategy yeah. every time i went for a strategy now that i know that i've done multiple times mm -hmm. before um and i i have the responsibility to yes. challenge myself and mm -hmm. do new things but i see some paths in this game mm -hmm. that that feels very natural yeah. to to like slide into so that might be my my only wish but we don't have that problem because we, don't. we play this like once in the blue moon and then it's super fun and i think there was some kind of small expansion to it but I do not know. Yeah. Yes. Cool. So we're gonna keep it. Yes. Next up we have Snowdonia. Snowdonia. You ready? Yes. You ready this time? Yeah, yeah. Yes. One, two, three, boom. Oh yeah. I was very unsure. What's going about on? This. Am I the color of the week? Uh, yeah, you are. Um talk about it. It's a nice game. I like it. When I played it now, when we started playing, I was like, oh, this is going to be hell. And then the further into gaming out, oh, this is actually quite fun. It's one of those games that is just a, a, a nice game. It's good. It's nothing more, it's just good. It's a, a very simple worker placement game. Um, it's not very deep. I think there's like so m lots of expansions which makes it different. We only play the base game. Uh, I would like to try some of the expansions, but for me, it, it's a good game, nothing more. Mm. The last time we played it now, I had less fun at it, with it mm -hmm. than I had before. Uh, we got a lot of bad weather in the beginning, so <laughs> we were just- it was harsh. Uh, taking like final scoring cards and moving with the, the dude prospector no I don't mm -hmm. know what his name is, it is a the points getter points um, getter. but usually a game of Snowdonia feels very tense to me it mm -hmm. feels like I need that spot because mm -hmm. if I don't get that spot then the other worker placement spot that I've already saved myself in mm -hmm. wouldn't make sense because then I don't have the resources to do that action no. that I want and then there's a lot of points just going out of the window and oh no the game come and took the points that I wanted to mm -hmm. get for myself so this the last time we played Snowdonia now I actually I was very on the edge if I wanted to keep it or not mm -hmm. I kind of decided right before we showed the paddle yeah. um but I think um since we have snow what do we call it foothills yes mm -hmm. foothills in the collection I I I think it's most nostalgia reasons actually that I want to keep it 
because it's it's not an amazing game. It so is we a can, very good game, we but can, it's, we can call it. It's fine I'm, with me. I'm yeah. fine. Yeah, let's do it. It's up to you. Last game then for this week is Maracaibo with a very heavy answer from me, Raptor. Maracaibo, <laughs> you ready? Yes. One, two, three, boom. This was our number one game from 2019. 19. Yeah, the 18, years are going 20, fast. I don't know which year. 20. 19. 20 something. 19. No, 20, 2019. 19. It's correct. And we've had a lot of fun with this Alessandro Fister game. Mm -hmm. um, it's still really good. It is. Yeah. So, what do you want to say? Um, showing, but did it give you something? The back of the box? I don't know. I don't know. We probably have some pictures. We have pictures. We have now. pictures. Yeah, if we took some, I think we did. Uh, yes, uh, Mark Ibo is a good game. I like it. I like it a lot. It's not one I want to play all the time, but when I play it, I have fun. Even though I was half asleep and very tired when I played this time, I did have a lot of fun and I want to play it again sometime and that's why we're gonna keep it. Yeah, I love that he's taken some inspiration from Grace of Western Trail and did, done that kind of one-way street mm -hmm. uh, going around and around a bit. It feels um, like a, a Alexander Fister taking his favorite mechanisms putting it into a game. Yeah, and that is always a good thing, isn't it? I don't uh, think always, depending on what his favorite mechanism was. It was like roll and move and... And then rolling a die to see if you win. But it's obviously not. No, that would be a strange game. So, <laughs> yeah. that's Mark Okay, Kyle. so that's four more games kept. So only one game. Cause that's what happens. Like when we when you play shorter amount of games, like shorter amount, fewer games, it happens this. So that is another week. So as we said, next week is not going to be a cape or kill. But after that again, we are going to keeping and culling away on our collection, going past like the one third mark, even though we probably have more than 600 games now. So we'll see when we're done. Maybe summer of 2025, we will see yeah. what happens. Yes, but this that was sounds cool. Another fun week. Yeah, I and agree. that. It's the end of the video. If you are still here and you enjoy what we do, you can click the subscribe button. It's free and it's fun. It makes us happy. You can also do something that's not free but still fun. You can go to patreon.com slash boardgamingramblings and support us there. Nothing that we think you should do, but it, it helps us a lot. So if you think we deserve it or something like that, don't that <laughs> strange word, then it really helps. So that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Sunwa. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings and bye bye.